Hey everyone, my name is Mirai and welcome to the IS Boxer 42 video for expanding virtualization. In this video, I'm going to show how to expand upon the virtualization created by the Quick Setup Wizard for use with multiple character sets. And while I'm going to be demonstrating this with the Combat Broadcast key map, this method generally works the same way with any other key map or even mapped key. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using two character sets, but there's no limit as to how many times you can repeat this process for use across as many character sets as you'd like. I will also mention that if you have any user-created mapped keys that are stored in the Combat Broadcast Hotkeys key map, then you may find the second half of this video to be important. All right, so let's say I want to configure Combat Broadcast differently for my second character set. This obviously poses a problem because any changes made in the key map itself will affect all character sets attached to it. For example, if I go into one of the mapped keys and enable Round Robin, then both character sets are going to be affected by this when pressing the hotkey, and that's not necessarily what I want. So, in order to get around this, what we need to do is create a copy of the ISB42 Combat Broadcast key map, and then rename it. After that, I need to assign this newly created key map to the character set that is going to use it. There are several ways to do this, but I'm just going to use the key map node within the character set to assign it. Also, when assigning the new key map, do not unassign the original one. Both of them need to be assigned in order for this to work. Finally, move over to the Virtual Mapped Keys tab of this same character set and create a new entry by clicking on the plus sign. In that entry, on the left, assign the base Combat Broadcast key map and leave the mapped key field empty. Then, on the right, assign the newly created copy of the Combat Broadcast key map that you specifically created for use with this character set, and once again, leave the mapped key field empty. And that's it. At this point, you would do the same on any other character sets that you're setting this up for, but that's how it's done. Now when exporting, this new entry tells Iceboxer that for this character set, it should use this specific key map instead of the base Combat Broadcast key map. And that means that if you want to make any further adjustments to this character set, at least in the Combat Broadcast key map, that it needs to be done in the one that it's being redirected to. I'd also like to reiterate that this process is only necessary if you want to make changes to the mapped keys within a particular key map and not have all character sets be affected by those changes. Now at this point you're technically done, but if you have any user-created mapped keys in the Combat Broadcast Hotkeys key map, then you may need to do some maintenance on your profile. While those mapped keys are still going to work just fine for all the character sets that they're assigned to, you're not going to be able to make character set specific adjustments to them as you would be able to with the copies of Combat Broadcast. Now the solution to this is a very simple and straightforward process of copying, pasting, and making small adjustments, but it's a bit repetitive, so I ask that you follow along closely. And again, this isn't necessary unless you have user-created mapped keys and want to be able to configure them differently per character set. So, starting in Combat Broadcast, create as many copies of any of the mapped keys listed there for all of the custom mapped keys that you've got, and rename them accordingly. I have two custom mapped keys that I created through the mapped key wizard as shown in the beginning of this video, so I'm creating two copies here in Combat Broadcast. After that, Go into each of the mapped keys and adjust the keystroke action to reflect the key that should be sent to the game windows. Obviously, I'm changing the C mapped key to send C and the R mapped key to send R. Now that's all you need to do in Combat Broadcast, but you'll need to repeat this same process in those newly created copies of the Combat Broadcast key map. In this example, for the Druids, and I'm just going to jump ahead and show that I've done that. It's the exact same process of copying, renaming, and adjusting the keystroke actions to send the C and R keys. Okay, so after that, in Combat Broadcast Hotkeys, delete those user-created mapped keys and repeat the first two steps that we just did in the other key maps. Make as many copies of these mapped keys for all of the custom mapped keys that you want to create and rename them to what you had named the others. In my case, that's C and R. You'll also want to change the hotkey that is assigned to them to match which key is being sent. Then, inside of each mapped key, adjust the action so that it's pointing to the correct mapped key in the Combat Broadcast key map. For me, C needs the point to C, and R needs the point to R. Again, this is in the base Combat Broadcast key map, and not any of the copies you just made, so there's no need to even adjust the key map field when doing this, just simply change the field below it. Now, if these new entries do not exist in this dropdown, then the prior step was not completed correctly, and the mapped keys in the Combat Broadcast key map were not copied and renamed. 
On the other hand, if you were able to successfully make those changes, then you're done. That's the process of setting up user-created map keys in the same way that the Quick Setup Wizard does, and this allows you to give special attention to each of them when they're virtualized between different character sets. Setting up just two map keys like this wasn't a big deal, but some users have a dozen or more custom map keys that they've created, and they'd have to repeat this for all of those. However, some of this work can be avoided by performing this maintenance before making copies of key maps for use with character set virtualization. So just keep that in mind. Now, just to do a quick recap on this so-called maintenance. First, in Combat Broadcast, make copies of mapped keys, rename them accordingly, and adjust the keystroke action that is being sent. You'll need to repeat this for every copy of Combat Broadcast that you made. Second, in Combat Broadcast Hotkeys, remove those user-created mapped keys and recreate them by, once again, making copies of the existing mapped keys, renaming them, adjusting their hotkey, and then pointing the action in step one to their counterpart located in the combat broadcast key map. And again, the names given to these mapped keys should match in every single key map. Well, that's all there is when it comes to expanding upon the virtualization that the Quick Setup Wizard creates. As always, please check the video description for links to any additional videos or documentation. Again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching. And for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat.